question number two. Part A. Use standard results from the list of formula MF19 to find the summation from R is equal to 1 up to N of the form 1 minus R minus R squared in terms of N, simplifying your answer. So we will need the list of formulas here and these are the standard results that we are expected to use. So we are saying for the summation from R is equal to 1 up to N of the form 1 minus R minus R squared this is going to be equal to the summation from r is equal to 1 up to n of 1 minus the summation from r is equal to 1 up to n of the form r and that's minus the summation from r is equal to 1 up to n of the form r squared. So the summation here is kind of distributive. So for the first part, we are going to get n. And for the second part, we are going to use this standard result. So we'll be having half n of n plus 1. Then for the third one, we are going to use this standard result. And we are going to be having a sixth of n of n plus 1 of 2n plus 1. So we can simplify this. So we'll be having n minus and here we'll be having half n squared minus half n. And that's minus. And here we can simplify the two brackets, n plus 1 and 2n plus 1, to get 2n squared plus 3n plus 1. So we can continue simplifying. That's n minus half n squared minus half n and that's minus if we multiply minus a sixth n times 2n squared we get a third of n cubed and minus a sixth n times 3n we get minus a half of n squared and that's minus a sixth of n now we can carry this forward so n minus half n minus a sixth n this is going to give us a third of n and we also have minus half n squared minus half n squared and we get minus n squared for that then we also have the term in n cubed so that's minus a third n cubed so this here becomes the final answer for part a so let's scroll down to part B. On part B, they say, show that the fraction 1 minus R minus R squared over R squared plus 2R plus 2 bracket R squared plus 1 is equal to R plus 1 over R plus 1 squared plus 1 minus R over R squared plus 1. And then they say, hence, use the method of differences to find this summation thing here. All right, so let's start with the first part of this question. Now, we want to show that these two fractions are equal. And I'm going to make use of the right-hand side to prove that it is going to give us the left-hand side. So for that, for this fraction, I'm going to find the common denominator which is a product of these two brackets so this is r plus 1 squared plus 1 which i can expand to r squared plus 2r plus 2 bracket r squared plus 1 so here i'll multiply this two to get r squared plus 1 multiplying r plus 1 and again, multiply this two to get r of this, which is r squared plus 2r plus 2. Okay, so let's simplify this. So this is going to give us, the numerator will give us, if we expand this two brackets, we get r cubed plus r plus r squared plus 1. 
and then that's minus expanding this brackets we get um, r cubed minus 2r squared minus 2r so this is o over this denominator so we can continue simplifying so grouping like terms here we've got terms in r cubed so that's r cubed minus r cubed so that's going to give us zero then we have the term one and the terms in r we've got r minus 2r which is minus r then the term, terms in r squared we've got r squared minus 2r squared which is minus r squared and it's all over the denominator so with what we have we have thus proved that this equation is true so we say here this is equal to the left hand side hence shown so let's go on to the next part of the question so they say here hence use the method of differences to find the summation from r is equal to 1 up to n of the form 1 minus r minus r squared all over r squared plus 2r plus 1 bracket r squared plus 1. All right, so I'm going to take this um, summation. This is the one we want. I'm going to paste it here. So we can use the identity that we got because from the initial part of the question, this expression here is equal to this expression here at the top. So let me take it as well and place it here. So these two expressions are equal. So we're going to make use of this for the method of differences. Okay, so for the method of differences, we are going to say um, for for r being equal to 1, here, if we substitute 1, we are going to get 1 plus 1, which is 2, over substituting 1 for the denominator. That's 1 plus 1, that's 2, 2 squared, that's 4, 4 plus 1, that gives us 5. And then that's minus, substituting 1, we get 1 over 1 squared plus 1, which is 2. Then for r being equal to 2, um, we are going to get here th uh, 2 plus 1, which is 3. And then here we get 2 plus 1, that's 3. 3 squared, 9. 9 plus 1, 10. Minus, substituting 2 here, we get 2 over 4, 2 squared plus 1, which is 5. Then for r being equal to 3, we are going to get... 3 plus 1, that's 4, and that's 4 over 3 plus 1, that's 4, 4 squared, 16, 16 plus 1, 17, then that's minus, and here we're going to get 3 over 3 squared plus 1, which is 10. So we continue going, and then we reach the term r is equal to n minus 1. And for that term, if we substitute n minus 1 for r, at the top here, we get n minus 1 plus 1, which is n over, and then um, at the bottom, n minus 1 plus 1, that's n, so we get n squared plus 1, and then that's minus, and uh, here we get n minus 1 over, and that's going to be n minus 1 squared plus 1. So that's what we're going to get here. Then when r is equal to n, what do we get? We are going to get n plus 1 over n plus 1 squared plus 1, and that's minus, and uh, we get n over n squared plus 1. So I think you can see that if we're going to add these terms, uh, we are going to have some of them eliminate like this two fifths, s to minus two fifths to get zero, three over 10 and minus three over 10, which means four over 17, we have another number to add to and eliminate. And so will this term. And even you can see if we add this term, 
and this term they are also going to add and eliminate so eventually we are going to be left with minus a half and n plus 1 over n plus 1 squared plus 1 so we are saying here this summation therefore is equal to minus a half and then that's plus n plus 1 over n plus 1 squared plus 1 and this is the answer let's go on to part c so on part c they say deduce the value of the summation from r is equal to 1 up to infinity of the form 1 minus r minus r squared over r squared plus 2r plus 2 bracket r squared plus 1 so you need to understand that this here is the same as the limit as n approaches infinity of minus a half plus n plus 1 over n plus 1 squared plus 1. So this is what we have. So for this one here, you can notice that we have got minus half and the limit will simply just be minus a half and then if you look at this fraction here you can see that as n approaches infinity the denominator will increase at a much faster rate than the numerator as n approaches infinity since we have n plus one squared plus one here and at the top we only have n plus one so this whole fraction here tends towards zero as n approaches infinity so the limit here will simply come out as minus a half and that's the answer there to part c